Hey everyone, today we are diving into fascinating world of automotive powertrains and transmission. But first, what exactly is powertrain? Powertrain is a system that generates power and delivers it to the wheels of a vehicle. It typically includes engine, transmission, drive shaft and differentials. Now that we have that covered, let's explore the different types of powertrains. The necessity of transmission systems and how an internal combustion engine compare to the electric powertrains. Let's get started. First, let's start about types of powertrains. To start off, let's discuss internal combustion engines, powertrains. This traditional setup uses gasoline diesel engines to convert fuel into mechanical energy. It includes engine, transmission, drive shaft and differentials. Next, we have electric powertrain. Electric powertrains utilize electric motors powered by batteries that consist of electric motor, battery pack, inverter and regenerative braking system. Moving on, there is hybrid powertrain. Hybrid systems combine an ICE engine, I mean internal combustion engine, with an electric motor, utilizing both powerful sources for better efficiency. Finally, the plug-in hybrid powertrain. Similar to the hybrids, these can be charged externally, offering a longer electric-only driving range. Now let's explore various types of transmissions that transfer power from engine to all the wheels. First, manual transmission. This type requires the driver to manually shift the gears using clutch pedal and gear stick, providing greater control and typically better fuel efficiency. Second, automatic transmissions. Automatic transmission shift gears on their own based on the speed and load. This category includes traditional automatic which uses a torque converter for smooth transition and continuously variable transmissions CVT. This provides seamless acceleration without fixed gear ratios. Third, dual clutch transmission DCT. This combines manual efficiency with automotive ease using two clutches for quicker shifts. It's great for performance. And finally, we have semi-automatic transmission. This allows driver to shift gears manually without a clutch pedal, often seen with the paddle shifters in sports cars. Now, why do we need transmission in vehicles? Starting with the power management. Transmissions help the engine operate efficiently within its optimal RPM range. Next up, speed variability. Different gear ratios allow for effective acceleration and climbing. Following that, we have fuel efficiency. They optimize performance, improving overall fuel economy. And lastly, we have the torque distribution. Transmissions distribute torque to the wheels, enhancing handling and performance. In conclusion, understanding the different types of powertrains, transmissions help us appreciate how vehicles operate. The shift from internal combustion engines to electric powertrains is reshaping the automotive landscape, presenting both opportunities and challenges. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more automotive insights. Let us know in the comments if you have questions or topics you would like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.